um, I'm here to pick up two press bikes for using MK. Oh, okay. Um, can you come around the other side, please? Other side? Yeah, do you know where, the, do you know where that is? No, but we normally pick the bikes up as we go through the barrier, just to the left hand side. So guys, we're just about to start our sort of trip to Cornwall. As you can see, we have arrived at Suzuki UK or Suzuki GB in a van. And we're collecting two GSXS 1000s for our Cornwall trip. So Mike's being an absolute legend, strapping everything in builders bum out so i'd just like to say a massive thank you to suzuki for sorting this out for us and making it so that we've got some awesome bikes to travel around cornwall on Nice job, Mike. Typical British thing to do. Wobble the bike, make sure it's strapped in proper. It's not going anywhere, that. Okay, so we've just collected the Suzuki's. We've got five and a half hours to go until we get to Cornwall. We're staying at my auntie's place. She used to have a biker's bed and breakfast, but when the whole pandemic hit, she decided to just permanently close it. So we're gonna go and see her. I believe she's gonna welcome us with a Cornish pasty and uh, some scone and clotted cream and jam. So that should be good. So we're just getting some fuel. Just got a nice uh, coffee, an oat milk latte, because frequent followers of the channel know what happens if I have milk. So yeah, we're approximately five hours, 11 minutes away. Just uh, filling myself with fuel, filling the van with fuel, and then we shall carry on. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> Pasty time. Howdy, guys, it's username Kate. Welcome back to my channel. As a few of you know, I've travelled to Cornwall with Mike. Now we've come in the van, but we have some Suzuki GSX S 1000s inside. We're gonna go riding around Cornwall for the week. You know, if it's bad weather, it is a bit of a chill holiday as well, so we, we won't be riding. But today, it looks pretty nice and we thought we do a nice little coastal route. So we're currently here in Camborne and we are gonna go sort of near Hale, St Ives, go all around the west coast and then just kind of see where the day takes us. So I'm gonna take you along with us uh, in the vlog. So stay tuned. <laughs> Oh, they sound good. Ah, let's go. Thank you. It's a clear visor season. So we're quite fortunate that we've got a good hookup in Cornwall. So my auntie Kath and my uncle Phil actually used to run a biker's bed and breakfast. Now when all the craziness started of COVID and the world went to absolute horseshit, a lot of people reassessed, reevaluated kind of what was important to them. And my auntie Kath, like she's 72 years old you would not think it she's as fit as a fiddle she literally 
runs rings around me and I'm not even lying but she just thought you know what I'll take this as an opportunity just to just to close it and you know just focus on doing the things that they wanted to do so consequently they have all the guest rooms and everything like that which they'd set up ready for the start of the season which was March and obviously March 26th that's when uh, everything went a bit wrong so yeah we have free reign of a guest house <laughs> Do you know what? I forget how easy these Suzuki's are to ride. Like, it's ridiculous. They're so light, they're so nimble. The bars feel quite narrow. Ugh, tram lines, bumpy as hell. Oh, the acceleration on these things. Insane. Yeah, if any of you guys ride in Cornwall, from my experience, you'll notice that the lanes are quite narrow. They sound good. They do sound good. So yesterday we saw the most beautiful sunset. I'm going to see if I can attach the video. Uh, just like overlay it on this screen right now. The sky was just so pink and beautiful. But it is like frustrating how dark it's getting like early. It's just mad. driver waved us past. What a nice chap. It's quite interesting. Yesterday we we went past a house and it had a sign on it. Stop buying second homes down here. Because apparently, you know, there's a lot of quite wealthy people buying second homes and then the towns are just becoming ghost towns because there's no one like in the houses there's no one populating the towns crazy so michael's got a whole lot of new kit he's got himself an oxford montreal montreal 4 he's got himself a hjc flip up lid he's got some new oxford Montreal gloves as well and some of the Oxford boots so just call him King Oxford Big up the Oxford Massive <laughs> Oh I've got to cut that out McDonald's, McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut A Pizza Hut, a Pizza Hut, Kentucky Fried Chicken and a Pizza Hut friend it wasn't for waving was it just while we're on the way down to the coast road i just want to do a bit of a good customer service shout out bought a pin lot from infinity motorcycles pin lot was wrong apparently there's two pin locks that you can get for an x spirit 3 um, because uh, an nxr visor will fit on an x spirit 3 and I didn't know my research properly, I just pressed buy and it was the one for the NXR visor so obviously it didn't fit so I got in touch with the guys, like I'd opened it, obviously I'd not taken the clip and um, film off the pin lock and they were like, you know, just repackage it, send it back to us they sent me a prepaid postage label and everything and told me that they'd exchange it and that the the balance was like three quid for this other one so i'm like yeah whatever i'll ring up and pay for it like just let me know when anyway i've been fannying around not being able to post it so i'd left it quite late and this trip i kind of really wanted a pin lock for this clear visor so i said look i, I go away in a few days and I, I really need this pin lock so they were like yeah no worries i said who do i pay this three pound to they're like don't worry we've, we've got you one out now I just thought it was really, really nice. Like, they don't know me from Adam. And they just went out of the way to look after me, and I appreciate that. How are you finding it, Mike? Smooth, isn't it? Smooth. Quick shift is just 
Yeah, and blipper, like quick shift to first to second. First, second, ah, nice. So this is the lovely town of Hale. It's probably one of the only towns in Cornwall that I can actually pronounce. The old key house. Cute. Go, 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 oh. Go, go, Shara, go, go, go. Oh, the sound of that engine. Tell you what, it really has that going for it. You can imagine it with a, a naughty, raspy can on there. Ugh. Lots of slippy leaves. Ew. Lilant. Lilant. Sing to me, baby. <laughs> There's nothing more disgusting than a Manchester accent. Baby. <laughs> Oh, they're so light. They're like toys. 150 brake horsepower and it feels like a toy. I've got a feeling that Mike is on the hunt for a full English. What a day! What a glorious day! Yeah, it's a bit chilly, but you guys won't feel that from the comfort of your house with the heating on. Ooh, where are we going? Whoa, that's a cool laundrette. GS Big Up! I always feel like coming around here there'll be like loads of mud in Midlet Road. So originally the plan was we wanted two 125s to mess around Cornwall on. So I, uh, I approached Suzuki and of course they've sold all their demo fleet to make room for the Euro 5 jobbies. So they kindly offered us these instead. In fact, they offered us quite a selection. A Hayabusa, a V-Strom 650, a V-Strom 1050. But our van isn't the biggest. And to be quite honest, it was a bit of a tight squeeze just to get these in. So yeah, we couldn't have gone for a Busa. And to be fair, I wouldn't have wanted a Busa around the tight Nadri lanes of Cornwall, to be quite honest. Wow, look at that view! So I have my traction control level in the highest setting, 5. I'm absolutely not taking any chances today. It's just cold temperatures, cold roads. Big hills here. Bloody big hills. But third gear, man, it just... I thought that might have been a second gear job, but no. Ugh. Yeah, we'll go in second here. Super tight. I do feel like heated grips would be a welcomed addition to these bikes. Man, these have just got bags and bags of power. Bags and bags of it. I swear these birds are trying to kill Mike. <laughs> I 
lovely yellow building. We like yellow buildings. ain't good. Ah. <sighs> Give us a push. Okay. Am I? <laughs> oh no. How are you finding the bike, Mike? Nice. Yeah. You don't need to change gear. No, you don't, do you? It's in sixth gear and it just falls from nothing. <laughs> I love how this car is just reversing all the way back doesn't really have a choice when faced with a goliath. Big tracks are coming up as well, like huge, ugh, hate them. Look at the wheels, crikey. Flying plane. Good bad boy. Probably shouldn't look up at the sky to see a plane. I've got a, a sun blind spot now. <laughs> I love how Mike's here in the plane now. <laughs> it's like looking for it. Yeah, I saw it ages ago, Mike. Get with the program. Probably the missing them flyer. Abnormal load escort. Well, what do you know? Land's end. Christ almighty, he's such a tight ass. I ain't paying for parking. Like it's four pound between us. So he's a principled man. I get that, that's four pounds to go towards breakfast. Robin bastards. <laughs> You're not for parting with your money, are you, Mike? I'm not paying four pounds to park up. We <laughs> no, we weren't stopping, were we? Oh, this road is shite as. So we've just stopped off in this little quaint cafe. So I've been trying to find a, a name for this place, but I think that it is La Morna Pottery. So they do sell pottery in here, but it's also a cute little cafe.
Mike, what goes on first? The jam or the cream? Cream. Mushroom and chestnut soup with a cheese scone. Thank you. Right, let's go. I tell you what, that's a hidden gem that. Because when that mushroom soup came out, I thought it resembled mud a bit, like dirt. But it was so tasty. Like really, really tasty. The cheese scone was fresh, it was hot, it came with butter, it was great to dunk. Oh, oh mud, mud, mud. One thing that I absolutely adore about Cornwall is how hilly it is. Like you can turn a corner and all of a sudden, boom, you've got that view in front of you. And it's just stunning. I really don't like the colour of this Discovery in front. It's like toothpaste white, you know, and it's got a bit of a blue tinge. There's definitely something calming about looking at the sea. I'm not much of a sea goer though. Like, I can't imagine anything worse than actually going in the sea. I'm too scared of sharks. There's probably a megalodon lurking. It's not for me. See a bike? Join a bike. Curry's PC World. Mike, whilst we're at Halford, shall we get some winter air for the tyres? Winter air for the tyres. <laughs> Just having a little stop at Curry's PC World. Mike's getting a power bank. The bikes are awesome so far. I mean, they're absolutely honking. I'm really sorry, Suzuki. Oh, hey. The be approves anywhere. Yeah, I feel like this headlight divides so many people. I mean, don't get me wrong, I prefer it from the side. Right, look at that. That looks aggressive. Off he goes! So, we are going to St Michael's Mount. shape Astras, best shape Astras in my opinion. Bikers! Aha! Wave! No? St Michael's Mount! So cool! Mike's telling for us to spin it round. Let's go. I think it was going to go down there, but. The elderly people were taking too long. I hope we go here. What a picture!
What a view! Oh shit, that's slipping. Oh my god, I just nearly sank. Oh! Christ, Mike. I just wanted to relax. We just had a nice little nap on the beach. Doesn't smell great on there, I can't lie. Old school mini, look at that. Red setters, I think. Oh, you just don't know if there's gonna be a car coming round like this there's a little place here look at that job is a carrot on the butt break there because this is not nice riding roads I feel like Cornwall is just full of these I'm glad we uh, encountered him there and not down here. In Newtown. Oh, national. And don't mind if we do. There's got to be somewhere to stop for an ice cream, surely. Oh, it's like Rocky Road all over again. do this to me. Welcome to the world of living with Mike. I'm gonna hit that. making some noise isn't it Do you know what? I feel like I've been bitten by the tetsy fly. Cornish air just wipes me right out. Well, we are back after a nice ride out around the coast. 
time for some cups of tea and time to relax until the next one. Stay tuned.